Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, welcome home. My name is Sonia, and I'm so happy you stumbled upon this channel. I have a very exciting unboxing for you guys today. After what? Since last year, October, I think, I've been waiting for this package. My Fairy Loot exclusive editions of the Crescent City series by Sarah J. Moss has finally arrived, and we're opening this box together. Yes, I don't usually do unboxings like this, like just one singular item, but I have been so excited for this, like so excited. For those of you who don't know, Sarah J Maas is one of my favorite authors of all time. I love all of her books. Crescent City is one of my all-time favorite series as well. It is just, it's an amazing piece of work and I am just, I'm so happy that I finally have the exclusive editions. So let's squeal and look at these books together. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my god, I'm so excited. The only other Fairy Loot exclusive edition that I have bought outside of their regular subscription boxes, I believe, was The Dragon's Promise by Elizabeth Lamb. I think that is the only other Fairy Loot exclusive edition that I have bought. I recently did purchase um, the Last Hours trilogy by Cassandra Clare, the Fairy Loot exclusive editions as well, but that's not coming until like July, August, probably August um but yeah so i'm really excited because this is my second time that i've allowed myself to splurge on fairy loot and this is my this is my birthday christmas this is my everything present right now oh my god i can see it they packaged this up i'm touching it that's the first book oh my god oh my god the slip cases. Oh my god. This is the first one. This is the second. Or no, this is the first one. This is the second one. Okay, let's open up number one. I have no words. I literally have no words. I don't know what to say. I'm so excited for this. So when I was purchasing these books, Fairy Loot had to have a queue because there were so many people trying to buy them at the same time that I was on queue for about an hour and a half, maybe even two hours. And I was also working at the same time because, you know, I got to make that bread. But I was so nervous because I really thought that I wouldn't get my hands on these editions. But... Oh my god, oh my god they look so good! Okay. <laughs> Let's start with House of Earth and Blood. So this is what the spine looks like. Here is the... Signature of Sarah J. Moss with the golden foil embossing on the book sleeve. Or not book sleeve, this is called a bookcase. This is what the spine looks like. You got your Fairy Loot um, logo, House of Earth and Blood, and then the Fairy Loot exclusive right here. Here is Hunt's wings as well as the Crescent City logo, and it says one right here. Time for the time for the big review. Oh my god. Oh Oh my god, I forgot how thick she was. Holy schmoly. This is the cover of House of Earth and Blood. This is the stenciled sprayed edge. And this is the back. And the back says, through love, all is possible. One of my favorite quotes from this series. And the top and the bottom has solid red edges. And here is the spine. And there's also a ribbon bookmark, in case you didn't see that. I forgot that there was end paper artwork. I totally forgot. Oh. This is the foil embossing on the front. I believe that is Bryce. Yes, that is Bryce Quinlan, our main character. And here is the spine as well, same design. And here is the back that says, through love, all is possible. Oh my god. And this is the artwork! We have Donica and we've got Bryce. Oh, they look so pretty. And then who's on the back? Ah, My husbands. We've got Hunt, Athalar, and Rune right here. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing his name wrong. Please forgive me. 
I can never pronounce his name right for the life of me. I feel like it's always wrong, but oh my god. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. I, I fucking can't. I can't. The one thing I am going to complain about because I'm a complainer and I'm very nitpicky is this. Usually this part of the binding is flush unless I'm completely wrong. But I don't like that part. I like my spines to be completely intact, especially if I paid a lot of money for it. But otherwise, ultra satisfied. Oh, no, I lied. There is also a little bit of scuff marks on the dust jacket as well. If you can't tell, it's a little crinkled right here on the top. But other than that, nothing wrong with House of Earth and Blood. I am excited the fact that i don't splurge enough like okay so one thing with me is that i don't like to spend money on myself because i feel like i just don't deserve it especially when it comes to exclusive editions but when i saw the post from fairy loot when they first announced they were doing exclusive editions for house of earth and blood i immediately told myself you're gonna buy that because one, I absolutely love this series, and I love Sarah J Maas, so I felt like if I didn't buy it, I was going to regret it, and after receiving the package and holding even just House of Earth and Blood in my hands, I realized that, yeah, I was right, because if I didn't buy these, I would probably be crying, so I'm really glad that I finally told myself that it was okay to buy myself something nice because i don't do it very often and i also don't drink alcohol so whenever i go out with friends i don't even spend that much money so it's not like i'm constantly spending like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars i need to start allowing myself to do it because like this this makes me happy it really does here is book two so here is the bookcase for book two we've got hunt swings again it's the same design concept Here's the spine, and then here is the signature as well. The only difference between the spines of these books is just the title. So this one just says House of Sky and Breath. And the difference on this one is just, it says two. Okay, let's take out House of Sky and Breath. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, I forgot how big these books were. My golly. So this is the beautiful House of Sky and Breath in all of its glory here is the front here is the spine once again and here is the back which says light it up we've got blue solid dark blue edges on our top and bottom and here is the beautiful sprayed edge for the second bug and this one also does have a ribbon bookmark as well oh Here is Hunt's artwork, the foiled embossing on the front. Here is the spine of the book. And here is the back, which also says light it up. Oh my gosh, I love this. And here is the end paper artwork. This is the front. We have the beautiful Bryce and the lovely and handsome Hunt. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I forgot these guys' name. I feel like this one... I forgot who you are. I feel like this one's Ethan, but I feel like that's totally wrong. I can't. I, I, I can't. This is so beautiful. This is, this is amazing. Oh my god. It's gonna, I feel like re rereading this series is gonna hit so much more differently when reading these editions. Because holy shit, these are beautiful. Same thing with um, my critique on the second book, the first book. The spine is not fully intact. It's like if you can see it moving like that. The dust jackets are in perfect condition. The only thing is just the spine, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm so flipping happy right now. These additions are absolutely stunning. Like, oh my god fairy loot i love you i absolutely love you well now that i have these beautiful editions in my possession and i was able to 
let out my excitement with you guys i am going to go and i'm going to find a place to put these on my bookshelves i know it was really a weird video well, not necessarily weird but a little out of the ordinary considering that i don't usually do these types of unboxings let me know if you guys did enjoy this unboxing because i know i did i do like to do unboxing videos i just don't really have that many exciting ones to provide you guys so do let me know if you like these types of videos and i will try and find um more ways to incorporate them on my channel but yeah i'm i'm just so excited right now i'm so i'm so excited so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye